What's up, I'm The Real Deal, and today we're gonna go over my music producer goals for 2022, let's roll. All right, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. I highly encourage you to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and please give the video a thumbs up. So people can see the video be like, yo, the video is kinda dope. Where is little Luigi? Luigi's taking a nap and we're taking advantage. That's why we're recording. I shit you not, I can only record when he's sleeping. Cause if not, you'll hear him whining in the background or like trying to jump on my desk. And when I try to make a beat, he like barks when I like finger drum. So nap time is video time. Anyways, uh, today's video, we're gonna go over Music Producer Girls for 2022. I did this last year and I know I'm kinda late in the game cause it's already fucking February, but that's just how I live my life. <laughs> This is to show transparency and it's also to keep it real with you guys that this channel is all about documenting and re-watching my journey into becoming a music producer which is something that I always wanted to do and once upon a time I let that dream go because of insecurities so now it's just like you watch the first video and you're like damn you suck and then like oh damn you still suck and then you suck a little less and you suck a little less and then one day you're just like actually kind of good and you know so Anyways, uh, that out of the way, let's talk about my goals for 2022 as a music producer. Last year, 2021, I only released two tracks. So we're, 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 we're trying to improve on that. So my first goal is to drop one track a month, AKA 12 tracks this year. So back in January, I dropped uh, Secrets. You guys should check it out, it's on Spotify, it's streaming, it's a nice little uh, lo-fi chill beat. And right now I'm working on track number two called little things so so far so good as far as our goals for the year go okay so goal number two is kind of far-fetched but i don't care we have to shoot for the stars shoot for the moon land among the stars or whatever that saying goes well my second music producer goal for 2022 is to reach 10,000 subscribers on youtube right now we've barely hit 600 but the reason why i'm aiming for such a high goal is because, I mean, it is possible if I actually put the work into it, but you know, sometimes we're just lazy and you know, life gets in the way. And number two, because last year I set myself the really, really low goal of aiming for a thousand subscribers and we didn't do that. We cruised on by doing the bare minimum. So for myself, I have to give myself this completely, it's not out of reach, but this uh, this this goal is a little more difficult to achieve than a thousand subscribers. It's going to have to make me turn into the person that can achieve that. AKA, I gotta put in more work. I gotta put in more hustle. So that that's how that's how my brain works. If I only aim for a thousand subscribers, we're just gonna cruise on by making one video a week and just doing the bare minimum. But I know if I give myself the task of ten thousand subscribers. I'll be like, okay, well, we got to push it because right now you're doing just like, mm, you know? Okay, so that's goal number two. Goal number three, number tres, uno, dos, tres, 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 is to grow my beat store, my beat library. Last year, I made a lot of beats. I didn't finish a lot of beats. I didn't put any beats up for sale. If I'm being honest, last year, yeah, I didn't put any beats up for sale last year. Like I said, I keep it real. I'm <laughs> the real deal. Uh, yeah, I made a lot of beats. I have like hundreds of beats on it saved in ableton saved on the computer saved on the hard drive but due to laziness and insecurity i just i didn't release any put anything up for sale so i didn't make anything so i didn't sell anything and uh yeah so this year you know we're like hey this is what you want to do then take it seriously stop treating it like a hobby because you know life gets in the way work gets in the way i understand that but if we keep letting life and work get in the way, then we're never going to do this thing that we want to do, which is become a music producer, you know, make music for a living. Do this every day, not just before work or after work when I'm tired, but just only do this. That's the goal. So we might as well implement more of this and do less of the other stuff. That being said, goal number four is to work on creating and finding my own sound. I really just want to work on building and creating my own sound. So yeah, that's goal number four. Goal number five is to continue building my studio. This is my home studio, this is my bedroom studio. Now, you guys only see this corner of the room. Over here I have my TV and my shelves with like my records and my video games and my TV. And then over here is my bed. And then over there is nothing and then just a closet. So my goal this year is to build this more into a studio than it is a bedroom. So it can increase the productivity. Because if I come in here and I'm just like, hmm, look at that big bed, it's so inviting. The first thing I'm gonna do is run to my bed. But if 
I switch it over and I'm just like, hey, look at this nice ass setup. So inviting. Let's go make some music. Mmm, that's how it works, man. I just I can't help it. That's this is how it works. <laughs> So goal number six, number six, my thumbs, why does my thumb look so tiny? Does my thumb, I got tiny thumbs, I got tiny thumbs. Anyways, so goal number six, I'm so insecure about my thumbs now. Anyways, goal number six is to start earning revenue from streaming platforms, which is connected to my first goal, which is dropping more tracks releasing more songs that I create more beats. Goal number seven, lucky number seven, is to actually collab with some artists. Uh, I haven't set myself a definitive number because I'm such an introvert and I'm so like bad at socializing with people, I swear to God. Uh, that I've set myself the goal of connecting and collaborating with one local artist down in Miami. So if you're in Miami, if you're in the South Florida area and you like chill beats and lo-fi and boom bap, and you just want to make music or whatever, uh, say what's up. And uh, what's up. And obviously work with someone that's not local because the power of the the power, the power of the internet allows, allows us to connect with people from all over the world. But yeah, so that's another one of my goals, just to collab with people outside of my box, aka my room, you know what I'm saying? Put myself out there. Just connect with people. You know, This is something that I like doing, this is something I enjoy doing. It's cool to connect with people that I enjoy doing it as well. The other day, I started following this girl who's a singer, songwriter from South Florida. And I was like, hey, cool. You know, I'm in South Florida too. What's up? So it's just cool to meet talent that's just like next door. Anyways. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. I said I was sorry. I said I didn't mean it. All right, so goal number eight, the last one on the list of music producer goals for 2022 is to just get better at making music. Just make more music. That's it. Just get better at it. Make more music. Like I've said, life has gotten in the way and work has gotten in the way. And one of the biggest goals for this year is to make more music and work less. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about work less on music. I'm just talking about like... Work takes up like 70% of my time, if I'm being honest. So the little time that I do have left, I have to divide between family and social media and making videos and making music and then just downtime for myself and then things that I need to do, my due diligence because, you know, life. So the goal is to get to the point where I'm making more music and I'm working less because priorities. So yeah, those are my music producer goals for 2022. Let me know what you think of the goals. Um, a little support on the back. Be like, yo, you got this. Be awesome. If you're looking for an accountability partner, holla at me. Um, I need an accountability partner. Uh, I love to help someone push them towards their goals. And I obviously need someone to help me. Be like, yo, get on your ass. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I put the videos up. It's just, you know, it's, it's it's a way to hold myself accountable. Hey, I said I was going to do this. Let's let's probably focus on this. Let's let's, let's put this to work. So, yeah. Um, that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And like always, don't sleep on me. Oh, my God. Later. <laughs>